Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt Bogosian. I'm a real estate agent right here in Middle Tennessee with Kerr and Company Realty. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about nine things that you need to know before moving to Spring Hill. The first thing that I wanna talk about is there really isn't that much to do in Spring Hill. It kills me to say that, but it's the truth. There's just no action, there's no excitement, there's nothing with a lot of like character there to go see. If I'm gonna take my kids out on a weekend or my family to go do something, very rarely, if ever, do we go to Spring Hill. Now, if I need to run an errand and like hit Walmart or Home Depot or something like that, of course, we go to Spring Hill all the time. But as far as things to do that are like entertaining and fun, there's just not much going on in Spring Hill. The second thing that you need to know is Spring Hill is literally the definition of suburbia. There are neighborhoods everywhere and houses everywhere. I would probably consider Spring Hill a bedroom community. And what I mean by that is a lot of people live there but hardly anyone works there or plays there or anything like that. It's kind of just a place to live. Sure, it's got all the amenities that you could ever need like Walmart, Home Depot, and all the fast food restaurants and whatnot. But besides that, it's just a place to raise a family or to live and enjoy life. And it does a great job at that. And that leads me to the third thing that you need to know about Spring Hill and that is, it's in a great location. Most of Spring Hill is located in Williamson County. It's located right off of I-65, so it's really easy to head north to places like Franklin, Brentwood, or Nashville. And also, if you wanna head south on 65, you can hit up Huntsville, Alabama, or even go further south and hit the beach in Florida. So it's a really good location to be in. The fourth thing that you need to know about Spring Hill is, Home prices are decent, although they are rising. If you compare Spring Hill to its neighbors to the north, like Franklin, Brentwood, or even Nolansville, the prices are actually really reasonable. So that's attractive to a lot of people. In fact, a lot of people that I talk to tell me that originally they wanted to live in Franklin, like everybody else, but the prices were just so outrageous that Spring Hill was the next closest place that fit their budget. And I agree, you can get a pretty good deal on a home even to this day in Spring Hill. The fifth thing that you need to know, and I think this is actually an important one, is Spring Hill doesn't have a downtown. And this is a bummer to me. Like there isn't really a city center or a place with some character like downtown Columbia or the famous downtown Franklin. And I think that hurts the city. The city just kind of has this one main road that goes north and south and there's all these shopping centers and whatnot scattered about in neighborhoods. But besides that, no downtown. That's a bummer for a lot of people. The sixth thing that you need to know about is the shopping center area called The Crossings. This is located way down on the south side of Spring Hill, but it is a huge shopping center and there's so many different places to shop there. Some of the major places are Target, there's a Books A Million, there's an Old Navy, a Buffalo Wild Wings, there's a movie theater. It's just a great place if you need to run some errands, maybe get some clothes, a bite to eat, pick up some things at Target. It's really good for that and it's very, very popular. So the crossings is really cool and it's a great part of Spring Hill. The seventh thing that you need to know, at least in my opinion, is there are some pretty good options for grabbing a cup of coffee. I don't know about you, but that's really an important part of my day. On the north side of Spring Hill, you can hit Just Love Coffee. On the south side, you can hit the Feigning Goat. Both of those are two of my favorites. And then there are Starbucks kind of all throughout the city. So you have plenty of different options for grabbing a coffee, latte, or maybe even just a shot of espresso. That's really important to me. 
The eighth thing that you need to know about Spring Hill is they are building neighborhoods literally on like every square inch of dirt in the city. And it's kind of depressing, but there's also so much demand that what are we supposed to do? It just seems like every time I turn a corner, I see bulldozers and land getting cleared and another new neighborhood getting built. It's kind of a lot of houses just packed in there and it is what it is. The ninth thing that you need to know about Spring Hill doesn't actually exist yet. And that is June Lake. June Lake is a new interstate exit off of I-65, but it's more than just an interstate exit. It is going to be a hub that is going to have commercial office space. There's going to be restaurants. There's going to be retail stores. There's going to be homes and townhomes. It is going to be like a uh, Berry Farms or Cool Springs, but down here in Spring Hill. I think this could be just what Spring Hill needs to help elevate it to the next level. Okay guys, like I said, my name is Matt Bogosian. I'm a real estate agent right here in the Spring Hill, Tennessee area. If you are thinking about moving here and need an agent, reach out to me anytime. My contact information is in the description below. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.